We must honor him. Because when we go to the football game, when we go to the ball game, you ever been to a football game, brother? Yes, sir. All right, when you go to the football game, right, before the game start, they play the national anthem, right? Yes, sir. And then everybody turn and what they do? Uh -huh. they, what did, they, they turn to do what? They be quiet. They start. They put their hands. They, on they be quiet. What they do? They put their hands. Like they put their hand on they. They cross, right? They cross. they cross their hands. Mm -hmm. They put their hands right here sometimes, mm -hmm. and then uh, they turn and face the flag mm -hmm. to salute. Mm -hmm. And then what happens if you got a hat on your head? There you go. You gotta take it off. You take your head off. Did anybody gotta tell you to take your head off? No, just, it's a second it's nature. We just program. Uh -huh. If I'm gonna show respect. You understand? Mm -hmm. To the to that flag right there, mm -hmm. the one that's standing right in McDonald's parking lot. Uh -huh. If I'm gonna show respect to that flag, I need to make sure I put my hand on my heart. I need to take my head off. You understand? And I need to be quiet, shut my mouth. Mm -hmm. I'd better not say nothing till they finish singing about my slavery and the slavery of my people. Bring that's it what up. the national anthem is. You better shut your black mouth. That's what you better do. You understand? That's the only that's that's your only option when you're at the football game, right? Mm -hmm. So, when we come out here and we're teaching about Christ, the savior of our people, you understand? We're dealing in prophecy. And as we deal in prophecy, all right, God has a similar commandment for you, all right? And this is holy, a holy commandment. Right. Read that again. Right. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse three. Come on. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying. Here it comes. Listen good. Here it comes. Every man praying or prophesying. When you're in the midst of praying and prophesying, like you all are today, right? Come on. Having his head covered. Having what? Having his head covered. When you're in the midst of this and you have a head on, you understand? Or you got a do-rag on. All right, or you have any type of covering over your head as a man, you understand? As a man, right? Come on. Dishonoreth his head. You are dishonoring Christ, the black Messiah that died for you and all your sins. You ain't showing the same respect to him that you show to these niggas running around on this football field. Right. You understand? Or to these white men in these press boxes that put all this stuff together. You're not showing the same respect to them. You're not doing that. So how do you repent from that? How do you repent? How do you repent and turn from that evil? You understand? You just take your head off when you're in the midst of the prophets. When you're in the midst of the prophecies. You take your head off when we're coming out the Bible. All right, then go back to Psalms chapter 111. Then you'll get what? A good understanding. You understand? A good understanding. All right? But don't let me become your enemy because I tell you the truth. I'm just reading the words that's written in this Bible right. for your salvation. All right? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding. If you want a good understanding, come on. Have all they that do his commandments. Then you must keep the commandments. To get a good understanding, all right? right? You know, part of that good understanding goes into what you eat. Give me that in Leviticus chapter 11, all right? Because, is this your daughter? Yes. All right. Yes. You teach her the Bible and everything? Well, she already know the Bible. She goes to, she go to Christian school. Christian school. Yeah. She's okay. Familiar, now. She's familiar, but she ain't familiar with the she got to get familiar with this. Here, because you know what they do in the Christian word. schools? Mm -hmm. They teach in the Christian schools that this is who? Right, there you go. So you got to come home. And what you got to do to her? We got to reprogram. All right. So you want to do that right now? Uh, I would. I mean, but we're going to really press for time. For All right. Cool. Cindy, let me ask your daughter. What's your name? Olivia. Can I ask Olivia? Yeah, go ahead. Olivia, who is this? Jesus. All right. Who is this, Olivia? God. All right. So why doesn't God and Jesus look the same? They should. All right. So this really isn't Jesus. This is Jesus. Right. All right. Jesus yeah, is. Real Say it again. Real Bible. King James Version. Yeah, yes, sir. All right. All right. So in school, you're learning, you're learning again, stories like in school. All right. I need you to associate those stories that you're reading with this image right here. All right. Because when you read the Bible, you won't find Jesus that looks like this. That's not in the Bible. It's not anywhere in the Bible. You don't read that anywhere in the Bible. You don't read that. 
When you read the scriptures, you find that Jesus that got woolly hair like yours. That look just like you. That's Skin right. like brown and brass. That look just like you. That's right. That's what you read in the Bible, Olivia. Black and beautiful is what you read. All right? You don't read about these things. Not You don't read that in the Bible. So this is not Jesus. Can I teach you who that is? Go ahead, tell them. All right. Come tell them. Do you know who the devil is? That's the devil. Right. This is the devil. Bring it out. All right. Am I right on my wrong, Dad? You're right, you're right, you're right. All right, so this right here, that's the devil, that's the devil, that's the devil, that's the devil, that's the devil. All those are pictures of the devil. Like this? Uh, where is that? Like, like that? Why don't he have words like that? Because the devil taught you that the devil has horns. That's a lie, too. Devil just means deceiver. So it taught us something that was wrong. All right, should have taught us something that was right, but it taught us something that was wrong. So the devil doesn't walk around with horns on his head. The devil walks around telling lies. That's why your father teaches you, your father teaches you, right, to honor your father and your mother. Do you teach her that? Yes, you know about that. Right? Yes. Now, are you allowed to lie to your father? No, right? You won't, you're not, she's not allowed to lie to you, right? No. Right? No. Right. Now, when you lie, to your father, you understand? You are acting like a devil. You understand that? That's what these people did. These people lied. These people deceived. And they said that the devil has horns on his head. That's not true. You understand? That's not true. The devil is actually a people, all right, that has lied and done all types of evil and put people in slavery and took their families from them, so on and so That's what the devil does. Mean things like that. The devil did this. Did they teach you this in school? Slavery. You see that? What's this called? It's slavery. Have you ever heard, seen this before? On a movie or something like that? This, these things actually happen to our forefathers. You understand? These things actually happen to our forefathers. Yeah, it make you, it make you sad, right? It make you sad. Now, to someone that does that to you, are they your friend or is that your enemy? That's an enemy. Huh? You're supposed to care. You're supposed to care about people. You're supposed right? To care. Our natural state is caring. Let me ask you this. Help another one another. Let me ask you this. Would God do this to you or would the devil do this to you? Thank you. All right. That's it. Thank you. All right. So, so, all right. So, round of applause. Uh huh. Good job. Now let me drive it home, cause this, this man right here, you understand, that you thought was Jesus is really the devil. And guess what he did? He did what you see right here to all the people that look just like you. That's right. That's what happened. A lot of people. These people right here. This people. The one that you thought was Jesus, that tricked you, you understand, he tricked you, he tricked you into thinking that, this man right here and all his people, right, put, did all these things to your brothers and to your sisters. That's why he is the devil, you understand, the devil does stuff like that, not Jesus, Jesus don't do stuff like that, he don't do stuff like that, but he did, that's what makes him the devil. Yes. This is God is his father. Father. So Jesus is the son. And guess how his father looks? Just like him. Right. That's right. right. Give me that and uh Daniel. Nah, I want if you seen me, you seen the father. Uh I think it's John twelve or John fourteen. What is it? John fourteen and nine. Alright? So what you're looking at right here, you understand, is Jesus the Christ. That's a good question. If this is Jesus then what does God look like? All right? What does his father look like? All right? Now, this is your father. Am I right or am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? That's right, you're right. Do you look like your father? Have you ever heard that before? Has anybody ever told you you look just like your dad? Or your mama. Or your mama. Anybody ever told you that? Yes or no? They have told you that? Same way with Christ. You understand? Christ looks just like his father. So if you've seen Jesus, guess what? You've seen what his father looked like. That's right. You following me? Read what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 8. Come on. Philip saith unto him, 
Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. He asked the same question you did. You understand? This was one of Jesus' disciples. He said, Lord, show us the Father. What's the Father look like? What was Jesus' response? What was Jesus' response? Come on. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Have you, have you seen me? Have, you been, have I been walking with you? You understand? Have I been spending my life with you? Have I been teaching you God's commandments? Don't your father teach you God's commandments? Has your father not been teaching you God's commandments? Come on. He that has seen me has seen the father. Jesus said, look, if you're looking at me, then you're looking at my father. Because my father looked just like me. Right. You understand? So this is who? Right. And what does his father look like? Man. Just like him. All praise. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.